What's going on guys? It's your boy Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer and this is my 42nd weapon review from Ubisoft's latest release, The Division. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the unique Liberator Assault Rifle. Since the Liberator is built on the lightweight M4 model, here are some basic stats and weapon info for you on the M4. The country of origin is the United States of America. The rate of fire is 850 rounds per minute. The magazine size is 30 rounds. The fire type is full auto only, and the reload speed is 2.90 seconds. The M4 and its variants fire the 5.56 by 45 mm NATO rounds and are gas-operated, magazine-fed, selective firearms with either a multi-position telescoping stock or a fixed A2 or LE tactical stock. The M4 is a shorter and lighter variant of the M16A2 rifle with 80% parts commonality. The 20% of the parts that are not interchangeable include the buffer spring and weight, barrel, and gas tube due to the shorter carbine length. As with many carbines, the M4 is handy and more convenient to carry than a full-length rifle. The price is slightly inferior ballistic performance compared to the full-size M16 with its 5.5-inch longer barrel. This becomes most apparent at ranges of 200 yards and beyond. As with other unique weapons in the division, you are unable to equip a customized skin as the Liberator only comes with a whitish chrome skin. I have received several requests from subs asking me to review the Liberator and I finally had a block of time to devote to this weapon. You can purchase the Liberator blueprint from the special weapons vendor in your base of operations for 171 Phoenix credits and as with other in-game unique weapons, it will come with three preset talents. Competent will require 1,417 in firearms and 1,889 in electronics and will increase weapon damage by 13% for 10 seconds after using a skill. Dominant will require 1,889 both in firearms and electronics and for every kill performed while your signature skill is active it reduces the cooldown of your other skills by 8%. The final talent is Talented and killing a target with this weapon will increase skill power by 8% for 13 seconds. The effect does not stack, and killing a new target refreshes the timer. I have reviewed the lightweight, police, and LVOAC variants of the M4 in previous reviews and love them for their wicked fire rates and ability to punish enemies in close to medium range firefights. The Liberator possesses all of the same weapon attributes of the lightweight M4 but is built entirely around a supporting role. All of the talents for this variant are built around and for a skill heavy build as they build off of each other for either more damage or recharging your skill powers. Now I am spec'd out more for damage and critical hits along with a nice helping of health and found that my electronics was not high enough to unlock two of the three talents for this weapon. However, I did find that even the base weapon with standard mods performed quite well as my base damage model before mods was 8052 and only went up from there. With base stats of 51 accuracy, 38 stability and an optimal range of 28 meters, the Liberator is identical to the lightweight M4 and clearly meant for close to medium range conflicts. I found the vertical recoil was present but seemed to be controllable through the use of barrel and grip mods and if nothing else worked. Feathering the trigger snaps the weapon back on target. My suggested mods would center around stability and damage output. The Liberator does skitter around a bit under full auto firing, and as all of the talents are skill centric, I would highly recommend any mods that increase your base damage figures. I'm going to rate the unique Liberator Assault Rifle a 5 out of 5 stars. I honestly did not enjoy using it as much as the lightweight or LVOC variants and would have preferred the stability talent, but the Liberator has its merits. For a player who is into playing a heavy skill build or more of a supporting role, the Liberator fits the build nicely. The only time I truly struggled with the Liberator was while attempting the daily challenge with a group of lower skill level players who were not high enough level to take advantage of my constant pulses or ultimates and ended up dying all the time and leaving me to fight solo. As always, I would like to hear your thoughts on this weapon and my review. Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. In addition, if you could take the time to rate the video with a thumbs up, it would be greatly appreciated. If you want some more Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer and my weapon reviews in your life, follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash ltbuzzlightbeer. I will also leave a link in the description below to my entire The Division Weapon Review playlist. 
Remember from my channel, likes, comments, subs, and love. This has been your boy Buzz saying peace out.